Hey there, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Tats, and I'm back with a new video. Um, well, today is my birthday, 45 years old, and uh, yeah, you know what the fun part is? Is I got I got a present today. I got the Toolbox Murders on 4K from Blue Underground, and I'm gonna go ahead and review it and talk about it. And is it worth your time and money? Uh, short answer, yes, it's definitely worth it. If you're a fan of the movie. If you're not, then yeah, you're probably not going to want this. But, of course, that goes without saying, doesn't it? Okay, in 1978, we had the, uh, the Toolbox Murders. Uh, I believe, yeah, this was definitely on the video Nancy's list. I think it says here, too, that... Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, so... Anyway, yeah, we have uh, the Toolbox Murders, starring Cameron Mitchell and uh, a, you know former adult film star Kelly Nichols. There, we'll get to that in just a minute, but yeah, this is a really nice addition, and uh, for forty dollars, um, that's kind of the thing, you know. Like Blue Underground, their four K Blu rays tend to be a bit on the pricey side, a little bit more than uh, say like Screen Factory and even sometimes Arrow, but. Well, I say kind of like Blue Underground and Arrow are kind of neck and neck in terms of pricing. Sometimes even, you know, depending on the release, you know, sometimes even uh, Blue Underground can be a tiny bit cheaper. But anyway, though, um, for what you're getting out of this, I would definitely say that, yeah, it is definitely worth the upgrade. Because I do have the, uh, well, if I don't drop it first, I do have the old um, Blue Underground Blu-ray for this. And as you can see, it's not a whole lot to it and kind of bare bones and you know you only get a couple of bonus features on here this here you get you know a lot more as you can see we got a whole list of new bonus features so you know i mean of course disc one you get the 4k ultra hd blu-ray uh you get commentary number one with uh tony didio director of photography gary uh gary garver and um or graver i'm sorry sorry the print on here is kind of pretty small and star Pamela Ferdin. Uh, there's a new audio commentary with film historian Troy Howarth and Nathaniel Thompson. Theatrical trailer, TV spots, radio spots. Then on uh, disc number two, you get uh, the commentary with, you know, uh, Tony DiDio, um, Gary Graver, and star Pamela Ferdin. You get the commentary with Troy Howarth and Nathaniel Thompson. Now you get some new bonus features. Drill Sergeant interview with director Dennis Dunleavy. Donnelly? Dunleavy? Oh, get your head together, buddy. Okay, Drill Sergeant interview with director Dennis Donnelly. New interview, Tools of the Trade interview with star Wesley Euro, who, you know, you would remember as uh, Will from, you know, the TV show Land of the Lost. Uh, new Flesh and Blood interview with actress Kelly Nichols. It's funny because now there's two interviews with um, Kelly Nichols on here. I Got Nailed in the Toolbox Murders, interview with actress Marion Walter, which it's Kelly Nichols again. You know, it's just her, but with a different name. New Slashback Memories, David DelVal remembers Cameron Mitchell. Um, new They Know I Have Been Sad, a video essay by film historian Amanda Reyes and filmmaker Chris O'Neill. Theatrical trailer, TV spots, uh, radio spots, and also new, you get a poster and still gallery. Okay, now this is a really nice addition, and it's definitely worth it. You get the beautiful engraved, engraved embossed slipcover. I swear to God, I can talk today. I promise I can. So you get the nice embossed there and everything, and you even get it on the back too with the wording up here and everything else. And um, yeah, for what you know, the only thing is, though, is like I just said, you know, if you're not really a fan of this movie, then yeah, this this just this release isn't going to really be for you. You're not going to want to pay the extra money for this. You know, but anyway, <clears throat> bit by bit, he carved a nightmare. So anyway, so we get this, and then we get, you know, your basic slip cover. Uh, sad to say, there is no reversible cover art, which you do have a little, you have a little bit of extra artwork on the Blu-ray there that I have, so. But this here, it's pretty much, you know, it's just plain white, no... No reverse bar work, no interior artwork, whereas like on this one here, you know, you get the, you know, you have the Blu-ray, but, you know, you see here, you get the, you know, with the toolbox killer there, and you get a chapter list, 
you know, showing everything. So, so this does have a couple of tiny little things more that this release doesn't have. But, but anyway, though, this here, all this has, though, for bonus features is just the audio commentary with Tony DiDio, director of photography Gary Graver, and star Pamela Ferdin. And I Got Nailed, The Toolbox Murders, interview with Marianne Walter, theatrical trailer, TV spot, radio spot. So in terms, so it's like, yeah, you can understand why this would get the $40 price tag on it. Because just look at all the new, look at all the new bonus features you're going to get. Plus also too, you know, you're getting the movie in 4K and, you know, you know, you get the HB, HDR, uh, Dolby Vision, you get Dolby Atmos sound and everything. So this is what it looks like. What the discs look like. Now the Blu-ray does look similar, but you do get more bonus features on it. There's the 4K, obviously. So, all right. And um, I really do feel like this is totally worth it if you're a fan of this movie and if you're a fan of Blue Underground and as a label and everything. That this is definitely um, a release you're going to want to pick up. Um, now, watching the movie, you know, doing comparisons with the old Blu-ray and stuff like that, uh, the 4K really is it is a pretty definite improvement because one thing I really noticed when I was looking at the old Blu-ray, there were, there were scenes and shots that I noticed where the picture quality was a little bit blurry in some areas. And, uh, this here, it's the picture quality is a lot more crisp. The detail is a lot sharper. You, you know, you do see more, um, you know, like one thing you don't, one thing that is kind of hidden though, because you know, with said this before in plenty of videos, you know, with 4K, you know, you bring down the, the brighter colors, you bring up the darker colors. What ends up happening is, um, for the main thing that I notice is that the uh, the killer's jacket, if you watch this Blu-ray, um, like his, his jacket here and everything, like it's completely caked in blood. Whereas like here in, in the 4K, it's a lot darker, so you don't really see the blood. So a little bit of that detail is gone. But... Um, you know, you do get to see detail in other areas, especially like in um, some of the apartment scenes I noticed, I started to notice like more detail that I didn't notice before. Like, you know, just little things, you know, uh, details like in, in, you know, like when a character is like looking in a closet or something like that, you could spot like little details in the clothing and things like that. I started noticing that um, you get a very nice clean picture here, as clean as you can get for a 1978 movie in 4K. Um, um, there are scenes where, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's clean, not a lot of grain, but, you know, you do get scenes where, you know, the grain is definitely more prominent. Um, I know fans of the movie might ask, you know, well, what about the scene with Kelly Nichols in the bathtub? How does that look? It, it looks really good. You get, I promise you, you get plenty of nice detail out of that scene, <laughs> you know, this here, but anyway, so, um, but yeah, a very clean picture, a really nice transfer. I haven't had, hopefully nobody does, but I haven't had any issues with this disc or in either of these discs. Uh, Blue Underground did a great job with this. Um, the sound is actually really nice. One thing I definitely noticed was, you know, you know, from the comparisons here, one thing that I noticed was that in this version, um, there's a part where, you know, the you know, the killer, he's walking around and he's kind of looking out the window and he's like looking at some of the girls in the apartment building. Now, you could hear a little bit of the music. Like there's, you know, you can see like uh, Kelly Nichols, she's dancing in a window. And, uh, you know, there's there's a song that kind of keeps playing that accompanies her character. It's like, pretty lady. And you could kind of hear it a little bit. Whereas in this, um, the music is brought up a bit more, but you don't really, that's kind of a thing. The one thing you'll notice is a little bit of a music change. What they do is they kind of like, I think that the music is still kind of there, but they kind of like really bring that music down and they put in a more kind of, kind of more of a sexy, kind of a sleazy music score into it. That's going to be interesting to, you know, if you haven't seen it before, or if you have seen it before and it's a little bit jarring, but you know, Something definitely look for, but you'll notice, yeah, there's a definite change in the music. Whereas in this, whereas in this ver version, the, um, you know, the music is kind of brought down and, and you don't hear it as much. But I mean, you can kind of hear that song, Pretty Lady. But here it's kind of like, you know, you know, that kind of music, you know, but. 
Uh, but anyway, though, yeah, the you know the sound on this is really really good. The Dolby Atmos, you know, it really flexes its muscles. Um, one thing though is like there are some elements to it. At least in my opinion, there are some moments where it's kind of like okay, yeah, kind of like you know with with the music or the way the sound is mix is done. It's kind of like the music kind of tends to drown out some of the sounds in a couple of instances. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that's what it sounds like. But even still, though, uh, all said and done, you know, you you know, this really is an improvement. It's very much an improvement over this, and I highly recommend picking this up if you're a fan of the movie. If you're not, and you know, if you got this and you're like, nah, I don't care about the new bonus features. I don't care how, you know, much they fixed up the picture or anything because I just don't care about the movie. But if you got this and you're willing to stick with it, hey, you know, good for you. But anyway, I would just say, yeah, if you're a fan of this, uh, Blue Underground really knocked it out of the ballpark. And even for a $40 price tag, considering, you know, the uh, nice 4K picture you're going to get out of it, even the standard Blu-ray looks really, really nice. I think even that was a, you know, because of the 4K restoration, I think even that had a little bit more of a, a cleaner, sharper image than this one does. So, so if nothing else, just get it for the Blu-ray alone. Um, let's see. If I had maybe, you know, like one little uh, complaint about it, you know, yeah, maybe like include like a CD soundtrack. That'd be it. That's the thing. Blue Underground spoiled us in a lot of instances because they've done that, you know, with past releases, you know, like Zombie. And I mean, I, I think they only reserve that for certain releases, but like, hey, like Zombie and Two Evil Eyes and Maniac and and what else? House by the Cemetery and New, uh, New York Ripper and all those kind of movies, you know, where they included the CD soundtrack, you know, it's like, yeah, that'd probably be about the only thing that, like, I would say would really, like, take this up a notch would be just maybe include a CD soundtrack. But other than that, though, yeah, I definitely recommend picking this up. It's It really is an improvement. Um, Blue Underground, every time they do... I have yet to get a 4K Blu-ray from Blue Underground that I didn't like. The only... I think the only thing that, uh, you know, there were just a couple of them that I was just kind of irritated by because, you know, like... Um, you know, they just didn't include the soundtrack or what, you know, like you, <clears throat> you got the blue, you get the 4k and then, you know, yeah, that's great and everything, but I still got to keep the standard Blu-ray because, you know, either that has more bonus features or that has the soundtrack or that has, you know, or it's like, you know, maybe you have like one player that's a 4k, you have another player in another room that's not a 4k and, you know, so it's like, well, I still would like to have the movie on standard Blu-ray so I could watch on another player. So, I mean, it's a little piddly things like that but but here you get you know you got the 4k you get the blu-ray lots of extra bonus features really good clean picture good sound so yeah i would definitely say if you get a chance and if you you know you like the movie you got the 40 bucks to spend i would definitely say yeah go ahead pick up the toolbox murders it's definitely worth the price so that's it i don't think i can say anything more about that but yeah i'm just really happy really happy got a good deal on that so so anyway, so that's uh, pretty much going to do it. So if any of you took the time to watch this video, I thank you for doing it, and I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, please go and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, it's like, oh man, we got all kinds of different stuff coming up. So I'm looking forward to This is going to be a good year for 4K and Blu-ray as well. So got lots of fun stuff that I'm going to be able to do reviews on and have fun with and everything. So... So that's it. So until later, my boils and ghouls, take care and uh, I'll see you later.